Got the names of all the guys who were killed on our ship. This is our monument there on the, in the cemetery. And it's all the names of the guys who were killed on the ship. No. My actual job on the ship was changing seawater first water on the evaporators. But my battle station was ship repair. So at this time, it was a group of us, about eight of us together, we just, you know, if you could plug a hole someplace or something, do something like that, it's what we were supposed to do, but there was no plugging them holes, because you need a lot of iron to cover them big holes that them shells went through. And so it's, it's stood back there and listened to them shells go through that ship, and dark, and nobody, one guy even got nicked with a piece of shrapnel, and he said, geez, a man could get killed around here. And I said, well, I know you're standing around here. We can't see a damn thing or know where anything is. And I said, I took off walking, and I could see the little light way up ahead of me, and I kept following it. I got up there, here's where the shell had went right straight through the ship and took the deck I was standing on, took that deck right out of there. And stood there looking and wondering if I jump in, what am I jumping into? Some metal sticking straight up and go right through me, or if I did jump in, I couldn't reach to get out on the other end. And so I said, well, if I jump in, I could swim out through that hole where the shell came in, or where it went out, two holes. And I was still thinking, and pretty soon a guy come up behind me and he says, I says, I don't know where the hell we're going from here. He says, well, follow me. And so he knew where the exit was, that where the smokestacks went up from the boiler along the outside of the ship. And there was a rebar welded on the ship there, there was kind of a ladder, and we climbed up there. And I got off on the hangar deck and I made about three steps and he could hear the shell coming. And it hit that one plane that was sitting on the forward elevator. And it just one big ball of fire, and that's the last I remember. And finally, I did come to, and I knew something had happened to me, so I got up and I went like this, and I put my hand in my back, and my clothes are all shredded right off, my pants leg was gone, my shirt was gone. And, uh, I looked around, everybody screaming, holler, help me, but. I says, you can't help nobody but yourself right now, so I went over to the side and, and jumped off. And before I jumped off, I looked up and see the biggest ship in the world staring me right in the face and went from here across the street away from me. And I see all the sailors sitting, uh, standing up there looking down. And so I jumped in, but never thinking that my ship going down and all the suction of the water going into that ship and the big gamato, the big props churning on the other side of me. And uh, just like being in a wash machine, you went around and around and down, 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 and I didn't think it'd ever come up. I did a lot of wind and see a rope hanging down from our ship, so I hung on to that for a while. And then I finally said, well, you better get out of here if you want to get any further than this. So I started swimming, swam a ways, and then I had the light belt on, and I thought, well, I should have blow that up. So I stuck the tube in my mouth and blew on it, and there was all bubbles, it was all rotten. All bubbles came up all the way around me. So I took that thing off and threw it away as extra weight. I could see the raft way out ahead of me, so I just kept swimming and swimming and swimming. And finally, I did catch it. And I got there, I just kind of pulled up on the, it was only a donut and it was made for 12 men and there was 26 of them hanging on. And uh, I kind of pulled up on it to get some air and one guy seen a big hole in my back, he said, push him inside. So they pushed me inside of this thing, but it was under the water so bad you opened your mouth, you got run right in your mouth. And so a few of them died. In the two and a half days we spent out there, and, and finally they come and picked us up, and 